Welcome to the stage, Nam Vo, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everyone. I'm Nam. I'm from Vietnam, hence the name. Vietnam is like a very small country, but here people will know of it because of, you know, the Vietnam War, or as we call it over there, the American War. <laughs> and uh, my family is in Vietnam, uh, very big. Like I have a dozen and dozen of cousins and aunts and grandmas because in the old days, we didn't have like condoms, so people just uh, getting pregnant is something we did every year on Thanksgiving. But <laughs> now, now we have ways to like get rid of pregnancies. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about abortion. Is is still the more popular option uh, compared to condom? I know it's how upsetting, but. Don't worry, because in Vietnam, killing children is still cool. So <laughs> re relax. Uh, with that being said, uh, I wasn't aborted. So, so that is like, lucky or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. Because like, life is suffering. Uh, that's the Buddhism philosophy, it's not me, okay? <laughs> to live is to suffer. Uh, okay, no more depressing joke. I used to be bullied. Um, and I don't want to sound like everything is worse over there, but bullying in Asia is at a different level. Like, you guys wouldn't make it. It's, <laughs> it's not uh, physically, but it's more like intellectually. Like, I will make fun of for not able to solve like quadratic equation at 11. <laughs> they, would, they would be like, hey, Nam, let me help you. You are a loser, just let me help you. <laughs> and if you're wondering, offering help is not an act of kindness where I'm from. It's like mental warfare. <laughs> so this bully, they would like steal my notebook and then so all the homework correctly for me and put it back. <laughs> it, was, it was so bad, it was traumatizing that I, uh, I went to college to study computer science, and then I came here to get a doctorate so that I can prove them wrong, like I'm a smart agent too, right? <laughs> when, I, when I first came here, like people were nice, stranger asked me how I'm doing on the street. Uh, but, and don't take it the wrong way, but I feel like you guys are kind of too serious about safety. Like too many rules and regulation. Uh, because like, human lives is precious here. <laughs> and, for example, like, you cannot kill children after they are like born. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> But, uh, but for real, like, I got kicked out of the gym because apparently my jeans and flip-flops are too dangerous. Uh, but what annoys me the most is that I have to wear a seatbelt. Now I'm a good driver like, for an agent. And, <laughs> but, but for example, you guys get, a lot, get to do a lot of things that can potentially kill you. Like you know, drinking, there you go, or smoking or eating burgers, <laughs> or literally committing suicide. <laughs> yes, that is all right. I mean, I'll let you know that there's a place that committing suicide is not legal. And I'm not condoning any of those. I don't smoke, I don't drink, except tonight. I don't, <laughs> I don't do suicide, but what I want to do is to drive without a fucking seatbelt. <laughs> and it's just my pet peeve. I know to a lot of people it's, it's not a problem. So let me put it this way. What if it were illegal to not wear a condom? Like, right? It's, I know it's risky, but like, I did try to work with a condom once. Didn't, didn't feel good. <laughs> and I don't want to be pulled over for not wearing condom. <laughs> 
like son, you have to draw it or take it. And, and on the other hand, like you never know when some drunk pussy might crash into your dick. So be safe, wear a condom. That's my set. Thank you.